Hello, my YouTube family. What a day it has been. What a day it's been. Well, the house was the freezer. And look at him. Kneading all over my red robe. We'll just wait until you make yourself comfortable. Is there a problem? It's my robe, people. It's my red robe. I don't I can't tell whether he likes it, whether he doesn't. <laughs> Walking all funny. You better not be thinking that this is this is not a litter box, okay? This is not a litter box. You're positioning yourself to look like you're about to pee on my robe, and I'm not appreciating that too well. Okay? Yes, my love. Oh, fine. I'm sorry, people. I am so sorry. He is just taking... Yes, my love. Do y'all see this? And then when I reach for him, then he doesn't want me to touch him. Thank you. I am so terribly sorry. Go about your business. We interrupt this program to give you Tomcat. For real? Okay. It's been a day. Because you remember I left off yesterday with the house not having any heat. Well, we went the whole night without any heat. And I woke up to this house being a freezer and I was an ice cube. He seemed to be fine because he's a fur ball. So I even tried to cover him. He would just constantly take the covers off. So I'm like, oh, okay. He was fine by himself. Oh, and um, Dana, the 40 Flora came and uh, I have been putting it on his food and he is reluctantly reluctantly because I'm still mixing the dry I want to get rid of the dry so I'm still mixing the dry and I put a little bit of wet he's reluctantly eating it he's eating it but I know it's like against his will or whatever matter of fact he just took a couple of chomps right now Anyway, I, he's not like super attracted to the 40 flora, but at the same time, he can't resist it because I'm sure he's hungry and it smells good. Anyway, I'm sorry, people. Three minutes in and uh, Tomcat has just taken over. Okay, so um, this is a combo. This is a combo. All right. And then I have stories afterwards. So let's do lips of the day. Lips of the day. This is not a face of the day because the only thing, everything else I'll list on the bottom, I've already worn. With the exception of this shadow that I showed you yesterday and I'm wearing the purple one. I'm wearing the purple one. But the purple one is just as dark as the, here's the purple one right here. It's just as dark as the blue. So it doesn't really look like there's much of a difference. It's just smoky eye all together. But this is not so much a smoky eye that I needed another nude lip. I didn't want to do a nude lip anyway. So this is the lip that I did today. And it is a combo, people. Let us start with the liner, shall we? The liner is NYX Deep Purple. I don't use this one as much as I use Purple Rain. I need a new I need a new one of both actually. This is the liner, deep purple, lined and filled. Now, those of you who have been with me for a while, you remember this one. The Sobe Botanicals. This is the Sobe Botanical lipstick in Mademoiselle. Remember when I was going through my Violetta phase? Well, this is one of the Sobe Botanicals. And remember yeah, it was the purple, but then I thought it was the dupe for Violetta, but then it turned out that it really wasn't the dupe for Violetta. It looked nothing like the picture on the, y'all remember. 
I know some of y'all go way back with me. You remember. And those of you who just have no idea what I'm talking about when I go through my Violetta phase, go back to 2011 videos. And I think the first or maybe a couple before, but there's a there's a video called What Do I Have to Do in Order to Dupe Violetta or something like that. I know I was just going, I was going through crazy. I was going nuts. So for at least 10 videos in, it's nothing but I need to, I need to dupe Violetta. I, I don't want to buy Violetta because it's too expensive, but I need to find a dupe for Violetta. And oh, I think I found Violetta, but then it really wasn't Violetta. So those of you who really don't understand when I call, when I say I'm going through my violet I went through my Violetta phase, go back and just track it because oh it was it was madness it was utter and complete I'm talking complete and utter madness. So this is the Sobe Botanicals Mademoiselle, and this is what it looks like. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like, but it needed a topper, of course. Of course it needed a topper. And so this is the topper. This is the topper in Raspberry Reflections. This is a Maybelline gloss, Maybelline lip gloss in Raspberry Reflections. And that is Raspberry Reflections. There it is. There you go. And I will swatch it as well. And that is Raspberry Reflection. Right there. So I put this on top of this and it gave me this. Now I know it looks redder on my lips for some reason. I don't know why. But the two of them put together gave me that. Okay? So, um, me likey. Oh, me likey a lot. And so as you can see, I'm like kind of sort of dressed up to the nines, sort of semi. And this is my, um, this is what I call my, um, this here. If you can see that. This is what I call my Titanic uh, diamond. Because that's the diamond that, um, that rose through in the water at the end of the movie. I'm sorry if I already, you know, I gave up the ending of the, of the movie for those who didn't see Titanic. But I think everybody in God's creation saw the Leo, Leo, Leo DiCaprio version and Kate Winslet version of Titanic. And this is supposed to be like the blue diamond. Yeah. Okay, it's not real, people. It's not real. All right, so that is that with that upon that. Okay, let me tell you about today. Remember, big wigs were supposed to come today. Ooh, they were supposed to come today. There was supposed to be a whole slew of them. Where, where were they? Where, 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 where are they? One came that I saw one there was supposed to be a whole slew one and the one that came sit down people buckle buckle up <sighs> he is coming through the door and I'm looking at him and I'm like I know this guy and he comes and opens the door and he's looking at me and he says do I know you from somewhere and I said, yeah, I know you from somewhere, too. And I, he said, you worked with me at the other law firm. And I said, yeah, I remember. And I mentioned his name. And, he's, and he said my name. And I was like, what? Wow. So apparently, the present business that I'm working for is doing business with the former business that let me go. Okay. But not so fast because apparently he left that company and started his own company with another lawyer that I also used to work with because I used to work with both of them, but he wasn't there. Only one was there. I 
practically fell off my seat. And he said, so you found a new home, huh? And I said, yes. And I love this. I love this home. He goes, well, you know, I started my own. I said, yeah, I know all about it. I know all about it. So I said, we're both happier now, right? And he's like, yes, we are. Which leads you to believe that we were not too happy. I wasn't happy because of the way they let me go. I don't know what his situation was, but I did hear rumor down the down the mill that he had left on his own accord and not happy. So I was extraordinarily shocked. I mean, what are the chances that you're going to go to another company and you're going to see a former co-worker from the company that let you go? Thank God we had a good rapport because wouldn't it be sucky if it was somebody that I didn't like and he didn't like me and come to find out he now knows where I work. But thankfully, he was one of the good ones. And uh, we left on, well, I mean, they they pretty much fired my ass, let me go, whatever. So, um, yeah, but, you know, he was one of the good ones. So that was quite, can I say quite interesting? Indeed. But there was only one. What happened to the slew of them? A whole bunch of big wigs with the S at the end, meaning more than one. And he left. First of all, they, 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 the email said that they were coming from 10 to 1. He came at a quarter to 11. No, no, no. He came at a quarter to 1. At a quarter to one. And left at like 120. For real? This was the whole shebang that every we were supposed to all get dressed up. So, okay. That's fine. Now, that is story number one. Here comes story number two. An email was passed around. Yesterday. Oh, let me wipe this off. Email was passed around yesterday. Um, it's come to our attention that, I don't know if I told you about this one, that um, a lot of people don't realize that our work hours are from 8.30 to 5.30 and people seem to be coming in closer to 9 o'clock or past 9 o'clock. So, since we're tired of all the latenesses that have been going around, uh, we're giving you an option. And they gave us like an option of the times. The uh, first one was 8.30 to 5.30, our lunch, which was is my, no, my, my normal hours. Second was 9 to 5.30 with a half hour lunch. And the other was 10 to 6 with one hour lunch. So everybody was supposed to fill out the survey and what have you. And they gave us the tally of what the majority ruled. My new hours now, I'm no longer 8.30 to 5.30. The new hours are 9 to 5.30 with a half hour lunch. How are you going to give me 30 minutes? I work at that desk with those damn phones all damn day. And I look oh so forward to a whole hour to escape from those phones. So I can eat my lunch. I can either read my book. I can crochet. I can take a nap in my car. What have you. That takes me to the whole hour. But now you have literally decapitated 30 minutes from my hour lunch. It could take 30 minutes just to go to the cafeteria, order your food, and eat. Barely have enough time for that. And now I can't even go out because in order to use up the 30, I mean, it, it would take using up the 30 minutes to get out, take the elevator down, walk with hobbling on one leg, to the parking lot. Sometimes I'm parked very far. Sometimes I'm parked near. By the time I get to the car, that's already 15 minutes gone. Warm up the car. That's another five minutes. 
Now I have 10 minutes. No, I really have five minutes to get to where I need to get to and then come back for the last five and then come back in time. So I can't do that anymore. I can't go out. I have to literally leave my desk, go downstairs to the cafeteria, hobble on the elevator, go down there to the escalator, go down there to the cafeteria, pray that there's not a line, order my food, swallow it, not even enjoy it, then go back up to the escalator, take the elevator, and then get back to my desk. That'll be my whole 30 minutes. You want to talk about somebody that is so not happy right now? So not happy right now. And then my supervisor sends me a, 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 an email. Um, well, we're bringing you into uh, the fold of now you're going to keep track on the spreadsheet of who calls in late. Here's my thing. This is what really makes me see red out of the whole situation. Just because a few stupid asses cannot get to their butts in the office at their desk on time, we are now accommodating them to, to make the hours later. We're accommodating them. Instead of punishing them or docking them their hours, we're accommodating them and giving them the 9 o'clock. Because obviously, they couldn't get to their desk at 8.30. They would come at 8.45, 9, 9.15. So now we're just going to give them the time and take away a half hour for those from those who have been following the rules and regulations all along. I didn't do anything wrong. Why I have to be punished? Why are you taking 30 minutes away from me? I didn't do anything wrong. I have been at my desk at 8.30. The latest I could possibly say I've been at my desk is 8.33. Why am I being punished? Why, uh, why is 30 minutes being taken away from my lunch hour? I'm where I'm supposed to be every damn day. So now you're accommodating the late comers because now they're like, oh, well, now that, now that we can come in at 9, you know they're going to take advantage of that. Now they're going to come in at 9.05, 9.15. What you going to do then? Then you're going to change the hours from 10 to 6? I'm not saying it's 6 o'clock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why am I being punished? What? There's got to be a, there's got to be a solution. And I have spoken to three coworkers and all three of us, we're not happy. We are not happy. We're accommodating the latecomers instead of docking them or warning them or giving them warnings or something. Why are we accommodating them? I don't understand. This is my life. I just got to go with the flow. I don't have the last name of Hilton. I'm not a Kennedy. I, I, I'm not a Rockefeller. So I'm not a Rothschild. I, 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 I don't come from means. Okay. So I have to just go with the flow. I can't walk into an office and say, look, I'm not appreciating the fact that we're doing this, that, and the other. I don't, you know, I don't have that power. I am powerless. So I, I have to, you know, Oh, okay, Massa. You changed the hours. Okay, Massa. We, I'm going to come in at nine now and half hour lunch. Why? I don't understand. So, you know, Nancy is not pissed. Sure. This means that, oh, well, Nancy, at least you could sleep late. Only 30 minutes extra. Before I used to wake up at 6.15, now I can wake up at 6.45. Woo. Woo and I don't even think I can wake up at 6.45. I think I'm just going to have to put my alarm for 6.30. Because guess what? When I would get to work at 8.30, that meant that the 9 o'clock traffic was behind me. I was already at work at 8.30. But now you're going to put me in the traffic with the 9 to 5ers and the 9 to 5 30ers. So that means I'm going to be in the traffic flow which means I'm going to have to leave my house a little extra early to get there at 9 o'clock. I might as well just not even change my time. I'm, you know, instead of leaving my house at 8 o'clock, because it literally was a 30-minute drive, I would leave my house at 8, get there at 8.30, park the car, 
and walk up the stairs, take the elevator to the desk. Sometimes I would get there a little earlier, like 8.20. I have the 10 minutes to, or sometimes I'd be right at the parking spot at 8.30 and then I'd really have to book it, 8.33. But now you are putting me in the mass. So, you know, I'm going to be stuck in traffic. There are going to be some car accidents. So I got to deal with all of that now. I might as well just leave my alarm and just wake up at the regular time. What's the point? What's the point? I just, if I get to, to the job at 8.30, I just won't turn on the phone until 9 o'clock. Maybe now I'll have time to have some breakfast. I'll go downstairs to the cafeteria. Instead of coming straight up, I'll go downstairs, buy me a breakfast, bring it up, eat it at my lunch, at, at my lunch, eat it at my desk the whole half hour. 8.30 to 9, that phone ain't being turned on until 9 o'clock. You want to start the office hours at 9? Pretend I'm not here. People will be walking back and forth. That phone will be ringing. I know people are going to look at me. It's not 9 o'clock yet. I used to answer the phone at 8.30. Not anymore. Now I'm just going to answer the phone at 9. I will eat my, my breakfast, take my time, watch the CNN. Hey. I can make it at work at 8.30, and I will make that a point. I can make it here at 8.30, not a problem. i rather work early and leave early. If they wanted to change the hours from 8 to 4 or 8 to 4.30, I would have been a happy camper. I would have been a happy camper. If that had been one of the options, I would have been a happy camper, but I bet I would have been the only one voting for that time because people if people can't get to work at 8 30 what makes me think that they would get there at eight o'clock for real so the latecomers won y'all won wait you're gonna see i am just gonna sit back and watch they're going to see that that's not going to make a damn bit of difference because now that they know that they could get to work at nine you're gonna see them trickle in at nine nine oh five 915. I'm not saying a word. So this has not been a very happy Friday for me. Not in the least. However, pop done good. The guy, whoever it was, fixed the boiler. We are in heat. We are in, I'm not, you know, stifling, but the house has heat now. So that is make me very happy. Because last night was brutal. This morning was even more brutal. It was brutal, people. I mean, when I tell you I literally slept, that's the reason why the robe is on the bed. Because it covered me on top of my comforter. On top. I wasn't joking. And Tom just, you know, he just kind of slept right next to me. And, you know, like looking at me like, what's the deal? Why, why are you so cold? I ain't got fur, okay? I, I'm not a fur baby, all right? I really need to just, I need to chill, people. I need to, I really need to decompress today. Really. Tonight, I'm going to change into my comfy cozies, and I'm going to decompress something fierce. Just, because tomorrow I have the MRI. I'll fill you on that. I'll fill you all on that on Monday. And I called again. Because I did, I wouldn't have had enough time to get to the to the doctor's office because they close at six. I get home a little after six. There's no way I would have made the doctor's office. So I called again during lunch. I called again my last hour lunch. Called again, asked them again. Do you have the referral? Is it signed by the? They're like, yes, it's on your chart and everything. You don't have to worry. Okay. Don't let me have to get there tomorrow and talk about. Well, we don't have a. Mm -hmm in one ear out the other you better take my ass back to over there where I need to get my MRI taken or you guys will see me on the front page of the New York Post I swear I really need to decompress okay it's almost going into half an hour I need to okay people let me know what you think 
I really need to take, I need to drink something cold to cool my innards um, and lower my blood pressure. <sighs> Let me know what you think. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. I love you. You guys are my saving grace, for real. You are my saving grace, along with Tomcat, who is nowhere to be found because he's still having a hard time adjusting to the transition of the dry food into the wet food. Even though the 40 flora, it's a it's a, a probiotic. It's supposed to make cats really just go for their food. Well, this is a super finicky cat. He's eating. As opposed to ignoring it, because he, you know, he just can't help it. He's hungry. He's going to eat. But I would come home and the his bowl would almost be empty. He's eaten maybe from this morning to the time I came home. He might have taken maybe three or four bites. That's something, because if I hadn't had the 40 flora, there wouldn't have been a bite taken at all. He would have just starved. So this is this transitioning is something else that's going to rise my blood pressure. But I need to stay cool. I need to stay cool. Okay, people. I love you. You know I love you so very much. My saving grace, honey. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up and let me know what you think. And I will obviously comment after you comment. And I will talk to you on Monday. Have an awesome, awesome, safe weekend, and we will get back together on Monday, okay? When my new hours start. All right. Okay. I love you. Bye now.